there everyone and welcome back. Today I have a request for you. Ryan's Ravioli requested that I build a very modern home for a family of four that has a teenage girl and teenage boy. So yes, it's definitely very modern and I have done this style a few times, especially on videos. I like the style of home. It has the kind of skylights at the top, but there are a couple of unique things about this. I love the way it turned out. It is a room by room build and I'll take you step by step through it and then at the end show you how I built it by showing you the grid. So it's a little bit different in that it does not have a proper front door. So you come straight into this area right here which is actually the garage and off to the right there is a laundry area right here. Now this home again very simple, very clean looking and very modern. So you have two ways in. You can go in through the sliding door into a hallway that sort of connects each end of the house or you can go into this double door here into the living area. There's also a single doorway from that hallway to get in there as well. So the living area you could definitely redo this build so easily. The furniture, some of it's new, some of it's old throughout the house, but you could take whatever's in your inventory and recreate this house very easily if you wanted to do a more modern style. So as you can see here, we just have the basics. We have the couch, coffee table, fireplace, TV, and a plant. And then coming through the hallway here, we have the kitchen. I really like how the layout of this kitchen turned out. It's sort of like a wide, galley style kitchen. You could definitely substitute this for the older chalet uh, cabinets and countertops or you could really use any style of kitchen for this. And I did put a bar area at the end. I didn't really see a need to put a, you know, a formal dining area in the home. Again, this is a very simple family home on a small lot, so I didn't want to waste the space for a formal dining area. However, there is also a place to eat out back here where I've sort of made the patio a little bit private and you can see all the way through that hallway into the garage from there too. So really there's two eating areas in the home. So coming back through, this is one of my favorite parts. I'm gonna show you the master suite. So you come into the doorway here and you have the master living area. We have the coffee and wine bar here and then there's a TV and just some decor on a table. You see the staircase there. Then I've put one of the newer, the peach, sort of sectional couches you can piece together. I think it looks really pretty with that color of blue and the lamps have both colors in it and I thought they look gorgeous in there. So that is the living area of the master suite and then we have the bathroom. So again, you can substitute. I also liked the villa. I had the villa bathroom items in here and that looked really pretty, but where I was using that blue color already, I decided to change it out for these and I used that uh, partition there with the toilet paper on it to separate the shower which is the silver chalet shower and sort of put everything together in there and then there's a nice size walk-in closet there for the master as well so I like that bathroom a lot I think that's kind of neat how that turned out so you're probably wondering where the bedroom was well you come up the staircase and we have a little opening here we have a balcony we have where you can look down into the master living area and right here is the bedroom section of the master bedroom. Again, very simple. I put some track lighting at the top and it's just a bedroom. I did put a chest in there even though there's a closet downstairs just to give a little extra something in there. But that master suite is really cool. You could do the same layout and do it traditional or however you wanted to do it, but I really love this two-story master suite. You'll also notice there's no doorway to the rest of the second level up there, so it's a very private bedroom. So coming up the main staircase here, that's just what it is, just a landing there with a light fixture. And you come over here to the teenage boys room where I've used one of the new beds and a couple of the new items in here. You know, it's new, I'm still loving it, so I'm wanting to try it in different styles of houses, of course, but he does have one of the older black TVs over there and I've done his room in the light blue color and he has a small walk-in closet over here as well. And also throughout the home, I've used the old light colored homestead flooring. Coming through these doors, you come into the teenage girl's room. She has a little bit larger of a room and I'll show you why in just a minute, but I love her room. I've done the pink walls and then the gray bed, the gray and white bed. She has one of the new bookshelves, one of the new 
desk there in the corner. She has a balcony. I've hung a mobile right there where the light comes through. I think it's such a pretty bedroom. And she also has her own walk-in closet off to the side right there. Now again, she does have a little bit bigger of a room and a balcony, but his room has the big skylight over top. So that's pretty neat. And I've hung one of the new light fixtures there, as well as over top of the master bedroom, which has a skylight as well. And you'll see that when we do an overview. At the end of the hallway, we have the hall bath for the kids. So I've enclosed a little, we'll pretend like it's a shower and a tub and the vanity there, and then we just have the toilet and some towels and a plant. Just a nice, simple family hall bathroom. So that is the second floor. I love this house, I just think it's neat. When I do the room by room builds, which is most of the time, I'm always happy when they turn out neat like this. So you can see right there, the master has that three-story skylight as well. So that's an overview of the first floor. Let's look at the furniture and then we'll go to the grid. I started with the garage. I'm just gonna show you where everything is. And again, if you wanted to recreate this as sort of a different kind of house than you're used to building, you can definitely do this very, very easily using things in your inventory and do it in your own style. That's the important thing. If you recreate my builds, because I get so many comments, well, I don't have that furniture, or I don't have that flooring. It really doesn't matter. I'm giving you floor plans and ideas. Please make the builds your own and please feel free to post them on the Facebook group as well. I love seeing that. That just makes me so happy. So you're looking at the second floor of the master suite there. And then we move on back to the hall, bath, and the tub area. And then there's the girl's room. And with the bedrooms, you know, you can make them for any age of a kid or guest rooms or an office or whatever you want to make them. Remember, these are just floor plans. So you'll see the measurements. There's the garage. Then I came over here and built on the living room. And I wasn't quite sure what this was going to be. I had it as a small master bedroom. And then I got the idea to make it a two-story. But that's what I had built next. And then I did the connecting stairway, then the kitchen. And then there's the little laundry room. And then, of course, the landing had to be here next. And then I got the idea for the second floor master. So I built these on. The dimensions for the balcony are there. Then I built on a hall bath and tub area because I knew the other bedrooms had to be over here and you're seeing the measurements for those now. So it is a simple build and you don't even necessarily need to put the third floor right there and put the balcony as the rest of the roof. You can just leave it as a two-story and even as a two-story house, the shape was actually pretty cool, especially with a regular roof on it instead of a flat one. So again, make it your own. Ryan, thank you so much for requesting this. I know you've been waiting a while, just like everyone else, and I sure do appreciate your patience. And I hope everyone enjoyed the tour. If you did, please hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone's doing well, and I will see you next time.